Hey everyone, in this video we're looking for the equation of a plane. So we're given some information. We're told that this point is on the plane, and we're told that this line is on the plane. So in other words, the line whose symmetric equations are these lies on the plane. Okay, so solution. Before we do anything, I'm going to write down the equation of a plane. So the equation of a plane is a parentheses x minus x1 plus b y minus y1 plus c z minus z1 and that's equal to zero. x1 y1 z1 is a point on our plane so we already have that we can use this one and then a b c is our normal vector so we need a vector that is uh, normal to our uh, plane. So we know that um, this line is on our plane okay and we know that this point is on our plane okay uh, so a couple things happen first of all uh, because this line is on our plane, the vector 2, negative 1, 1, this is also on the plane. Or at least it's, sorry, it's parallel to the plane. It's parallel to the plane. The line is on the plane, but this, this vector is parallel to the line, so it's parallel to our plane, right? This is called the direction vector. So given the symmetric equations for a line, you can always find the direction vector. It's always just these numbers right there. You just put it in a vector, and that's called the direction vector, and it's always parallel to your line. So this line is on the plane. This vector is parallel to this line. Therefore, it's parallel to our plane, so parallel to the plane. All right, so we have a vector that's parallel to our plane, and now we have a point on the plane here. If we had one more point, we could find another parallel vector, take the cross product, and get a normal vector. Okay, so how do we find another vector? Uh, another point, rather. Well, just plug in any number, right? You can find another point on the plane by just picking numbers here. So, like, if I plug in, um, what, what would make this true? Um, if I make x zero, I get zero here. So how do I how do I make this zero? I make y four, and how do I make this zero? I make z zero. So that'll work, right? That that works. So zero four zero. That point there, zero four zero. That satisfies this, this equation. So this point is on the line. Therefore, this point is on the plane because the line is on the plane. So recap. This point is on the plane. This line is on our plane. This vector is parallel to the line, right? Therefore, um, this vector is parallel to the plane. This point is on our plane. This point is on the line. Therefore, it's also on the plane. So now we can find another vector that is on the plane. So, or a vector that is on the plane. You can subtract these, right? Let's do it down here. So I'll call it uh, v. So we can do 2 minus 0, 0 minus 4. Just subtract them, right? 1 minus 0. So we end up with this vector v, 2. It's a pretty tough problem, negative 4 or 1. People have a hard time with stuff like this. So that's also parallel to our plane. So now we have two parallel vectors to our plane. We can take the cross product and we have a normal vector. So let's do it. Let's take the cross product of these two vectors. So I'll do this one cross this one. So I'll write it like this. So 2, negative 1, 1. Whoops. Cross uh, 2, negative 4, 1. And so to find the cross product, um, you just, I'll, I'll do it here. You put these uh, in uh, like a matrix and take the determinant. So you always write ijk. So ijk. And this one comes first, so 2, negative 1, 1, so 2, negative 1, 1, and then 2, negative 4, 1, okay? And then we take the determinant. So this is equal to, so it's always plus minus plus, you start with the i hat, okay? So we're crossing these out, you cross out the corresponding row and column, right? So you get negative 1, 1, negative 4, 1, so negative 1, 1, negative 4, 1, then minus, cross these out, you get 2, 1, 2, 1, that's pretty cool, <laughs> plus k hat, Cross these out, you get 2, negative 1, 2, negative 4. So you get 2, negative 1, 2, negative 4. All right. So now let's work it out. So this is i hat. I've been saying i hat, j hat, k hat. I didn't necessarily write it. Um, let's see. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. You multiply these, you subtract, and you multiply these. So negative 1 minus negative 4, so that's plus 4. Minus j hat. 2 minus 2, beautiful. All right, 2 minus 2 is 0. Uh, plus k hat, negative 8, minus negative 2. So minus and negative is positive, so it's going to be plus 2. So this is negative 3 i hat, um, minus 6 k hat. 
So in component forms would be negative 3, 0, negative 6, because the j hat is missing, right? So it's 0. So negative 3, 0, negative 6. Negative 1 plus, oh, that's a mistake. Oh, I'm glad I caught it. That's actually 3, so I can fix it and not delete the entire video. <laughs> so negative 1 plus 4 is 3, 0, and then we have negative 6. So this vector is normal, right? This vector is normal to our plane. So this is our n, and now we can just plug this in here, and then this is our x1, y1, z1, and we're good and we're done. Before I erase stuff to finish the question, let me go over it one more time. We're looking for the equation of the plane. We're given a point on the plane, and then we're told that this line is on the plane. That's all we're told, right? A point and a line. So because the line is on the plane, we know that we can get a vector right away, right? Because this vector here is, is parallel to the line. Therefore, um, since the line is on the plane, it's parallel to our plane. So we have a vector that is parallel to our plane, okay? We have a point on the plane. If we have one more point on the plane, we can find another parallel vector. Well, this line is on the plane, so we can use it to produce any point we want. So I just picked an easy one. I made x zero, therefore y must be four, and therefore that must be zero. That's another point on our plane. We have two points on the plane. We can subtract them, and we did. Look, two minus zero, 0 minus 4, and then 1 minus 0, and that's our parallel vector. You have two parallel vectors. We took the cross product. Hopefully, we did it correctly. Uh, that is our normal vector. Let's finish. I'm going to erase this, and we're just going to plug everything in. So let's see. So A is here, right? A, B, C. So 3x minus 2, right? That's that. Uh, B is 0, so we don't have to worry about it. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to write it. Uh, and then C is negative 6. And then z minus 1, and that's equal to 0. And you could distribute and collect like terms, but I will stop there. So um, pretty tough problem. I hope this has helped uh, someone out there. That's it.